What's going on YouTube? Tony here with Edge Elite Knife Review. Got another one for you guys today. Uh, against my better judgment, I wanted to push and get this review out. Not feeling super well today, but I'm super excited at the same time for this knife review. Uh, I have wanted this knife for a long time. Uh, this is one of those knives that I saw uh, in my younger years and, you know, I saw the, you know, the older guys and tactical, you know, SWAT and military guys carry these knives and, uh, always wanted one, finally pulled the trigger. It is a little more on the expensive side. You guys know I mainly focus on more budget friendly stuff, but, um, I had to get it. I had to get it and I fell in love with it. It's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. This is the all blacked out version, as you can see. Absolutely awesome. Tactical dream, guys. I mean, come on. Blacked out paramilitary, too. This is a classic um, knife from Spyderco, guys. Um, Eric Glesser and uh, Sal Glesser design. Oh, I just, I'm in love with this knife. Uh, let me give you some specs before I ramble on anymore. <laughs> uh, blade length on this guy is 3.44 inches. The actual cutting edge is three inches. You can see the bottom trail on the thumb ramp up here, kind of take up a, a, a little bit of space. Um, so it's a three inch cutting edge. Uh, the blade material on this guy is CPM S30V steel, which is a nicer quality, more premium uh, blade steel, which uh, I love. I have, you know, a few other spider codes with S30V steel and I love it so far. Uh, style, blade style on this guy is a clip point and you got a flat grind with a plain edge. So this is just a slicing dream. This is going to slice exceedingly well through most everything that you're slicing. Um, <laughs> I, I won't get into what you're slicing. It's not my business. Uh, you do what you do. <laughs> uh, there is a black DLC coating on this guy to uh, help with the tactical application of it so there's no light reflection. Um, but it also helps keep your blade protected, um, rust corrosion and whatnot, weathering and stuff like that. Over time, of course, you know, the DLC co coating will start to wear off and fade and all that good stuff. Um, you got your awesome, super huge Spidey hole right there. Your tactical uh, Spiderco Spidey hole. Wow, I'm failing right now. Wow. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so let's talk about the choil and the thumb ramp. So you have this somewhat shallow thumb ramp or choil at the bottom here. And there's some jimping on the blade side. And then you got this awesome thumb ramp up here. And you can see the, uh, the jimping here. And then you got some jimping on the liners. So when you have your fingers in this forward position, it's locked and you're ready to go. Um, doing some fine work. This thing is not going anywhere in your hands. Uh, and it feels comfortable. It's not like, you know, I'm, there's super aggressive jimping on other knives from different companies. I won't say which ones. I'm not bashing them, but you don't want it to be to where it's uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So anyways, yeah, that feels really good. You got a slightly ergonomic handle. It's not super like forcing your hand into one position. Um, so that feels really good in your hand as well. And, um, you know, like I say always, I have big hands and this knife feels great in my hand. Good full size uh, handle. Uh, the, uh, hand material is, uh, Texture G10, so it's like a slight, slightly Texture G10, not super aggressive, but it definitely feels good in the hand and offers some grip, um, and more if you're wearing gloves. Um, there is, uh, recessed stainless steel liners in there. They are milled out for weight purposes, so, uh, it does add some strength, um, in the handles. You have your tube spacer and your lanyard hold tube spacer, which is, I guess it's an updated version, so it's a lot bigger of a lanyard hold. Uh, I did throw some 550 through there just to check it out, and man, it, you could fit two, maybe, you might even be able to squeeze three strands, or three, uh, three strands of uh, 550 through that paracord hole. It's that big. It's pretty awesome. Um, you know, there's some pair, there's some lanyards that lanyard holes on some knives that it's like, it's really hard to get 
uh, paracord through there. But uh, if that's your thing, if you like putting lanyards on your knives, this is the way to go. Um, it does have Spyderco's compression lock on there. So as far as I'm concerned, or I could tell, it's just a, a, a right side up liner lock. Because usually you'd have the, uh, the liner here, and the lock would come out from this side and you know keep the blade locked up well it's just reversed on the top here so i mean i kind of like it it keeps your hands out of the path of a blade when it closes um i mean if you know how to handle your knives you're not going to cut yourself closing it with a line a lot however things happen and whatnot you can still cut your fingers with this i mean you know let's say you have your your fingers slightly over the the path of the blade and you you close it and it you know take your fingertips off uh especially with this guy this thing is absolutely razor sharp speaking of which let's do a cut test absolutely razor sharp like guys the paper is like almost jumping out of the way of the blade it's insane spyderco gives you phenomenal factory edges I could just, oh man, I could do this all day. <laughs> Does that make me weird? Does that make me weird? No. I'm a knife nut. It's normal. Might as well keep going <laughs> until the whole thing is gone. <laughs> oh man. Any of you other knife nuts enjoy just nice paper cut tests? Even though you know your knife is razor sharp, it's just fun to do. It's just a fun thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so oh yeah you got as you can see there eric lesser saw glasser's maker mark golden colorado usa Let's see if it'll yeah there you go yeah, and you got your spider cold brand and your blade material and you know that that um spider cold logo isn't you know, it's there, it's not blacked out, but it's not super light reflective either. So it's not like it's going to, you know, act as a mirror and give, you know, your position away or anything. If you're hiding in the darkness, waiting to strike. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just an awesome knife. You guys can see everything blacked out. I had to get this version, had to go super tactical with it. And uh, I'm loving this knife. This has instantly become my favorite carry knife so far. Um I love all my other knives, but man, this, you know how parents say, oh, we don't have a favorite child. <laughs> Definitely have a favorite child. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this knife. Let me know um, how you carry yours. There's a lot of uh, modifications people do to these things. Um, drop a comment, drop a like. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. I'll put a button here, and I'll put another video up here for you guys to check out. I always appreciate yeah, you guys coming and uh, supporting the channel by watching, liking, supporting, all that good stuff. Um, I have another video I'm going to post, talk to you guys about the support aspect of it as well. Um, it will be up soon, but thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Thanks.